Good morning, everyone. In this day's episode of Fireside Chat with Rubert. <laughs> See the fire? Huh. Sounds like there's a bunch of cows on the freeway over there. Anyway, I thought <clears throat> in today's episode, I will talk a little bit about movies, cinema. Classics. The ones that influenced me since I was a child. I mean, Jaws, yeah. You, you can talk about the classic movies. You know, we're going to need a bigger boat. But, and that movie scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. My older brother and sister teased the hell out of me because I'd hide behind the big old box TV and, you know, let me know when the scare part's over. Okay. And you hear that dun dun dun. And they'd be like, you can come out now. Ugh, horrible kids. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven Samurai. Magnificent Seven. It's based on it. It's an amazing movie. Subtitles. So if you don't into that, good luck. But yeah, great movie. Um, Ran. Another subtitle Japanese movie. Epic. Ran is epic. Little. It's yeah. There's violence. It's it's sad. It's 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 like a Greek tragedy. That's what Ran is. But um, yeah, Searchers. John Wayne. Loved it. I mean, John Ford. He did, he, you know, he did all those, he did a lot of westerns. <clears throat> I think he did Hondo and El Dorado and all those, but, um, yeah, I love John Wayne. Anyway. He's one of my fathers. Sam Pebbles, the Sam Pebbles or whatever, epic movie, very, very slow, very dramatic. Steve McQueen did a great job. And is it Candace Bergen? Really young. But anyway, good movie. Love, I'm just a, I'm a movie fan. I've always loved movies. Let's see, there's the Red Balloon that I watched when I was a kid at school. Everybody had seen that movie. Um, it's a little French film. And then there's the Musketeers. I mean, pick your movies. They're all great. I mean, the new one was, was kind of fantastical. but um, <clears throat> All the traditional um, Musketeers movies are always good. You know, the ones that were they made in the 70s were kind of interesting. Very funny. But, yeah, violence. So you got to be careful with that. But, yeah, uh, Rumblefish. And the Outsiders, I think it was um, Scorsese. A lot of really good. I mean, he's using family and stuff like that. There's um, Nicolas Cage is in it, and Rumblefish. I think he's in Rumblefish. Um, Matt Dillon, he's in both Outsiders and Rumblefish. Outsiders, just I I love that movie. Outsiders, just so it's just such an amazing movie. But yeah, Outsiders, Nausicaa, in the Valley of the Wind. I can't even pronounce the Japanese. Um, Ghibling Studio, um, awesome. I mean, there's Ponyo, that's, that's based on The Little Mermaid. Um, yeah. What else? Mm, I wrote them down. Uh, Blazing Settles, I already talked about that. A lot of really good comedies, too. They were just, yeah. I mean, there's Silver Streak, there's, you know. Um, Any Which Way But Loose, that's Clint Eastwood. And then there's, you know, stuff like that, Stir Crazy. Um, here's a little known one, Killing Zoe, with Eric Stoltz. He's basically a guy that can crack saves, and he meets up with an old childhood buddy that's just a psychotic French dude with all these bank robbers. And yeah, it's a crazy movie. Quentin Tarantino produced it, <clears throat> so that's a crazy movie. Let's see here. Yeah. We have The Quiet Man, again, another John Wayne movie, but it's also a classic in itself. And I think, actually, the studio, John Wayne, I think it's John Wayne or so the studio didn't want to do it, but they agreed to do the, the Quiet Man. John, I mean, the studio agreed to do Quiet Man as long as they did some more cowboy movies, so that was kind of cool. Um, Lawrence of Arabia, I mean... Forget about it, right? The, the scenery itself was, you know, a character. It was one of the main characters. Just like, um, just like Dancing with Wolves. I got that written down, too. I mean, first time I saw Dancing with Wolves, I went to stay with my mom in Phoenix. And I was a young guy and single and just us alone. And, and 
I figured, you know, it's Christmas Day, and I was by myself, and I just figured, you know, so I went and saw a movie, and it was Dance of the Wolves, and it was, it was epic, I was like, wow, I was blown away, so, yeah, at the theater, so yeah, yeah, it was awesome, uh, Excalibur, the older version, I think that was the 70s or early 80s, really cool, love the soundtrack, I mean, you got Fortuna, <clears throat> you got, um, yeah, the Flight of the Valkyrie, I think that's what that one is, and they're riding their horses through the cherry blossoms. Oh, that's that, that scene alone is just epic. And they're going to fight the last scene. Uh, and there's Streets of Fire. That's another little one known in the '80s that a lot of people don't know about. It was a it was an epic fairy tale, rock and roll fairy tale. That's what it's called, epic rock and roll fairy tale. And it had really great music, um, Bonnie Tyler, and some other ones. Great soundtrack. Um, Diane Lane, a young, hot Diane Lane, tied to a bed. That's not the movie, but I'm just, it's a scene. And William Defoe, we have William Defoe in it, man. That's the bad guy. <laughs> Wait till you see the movie. He, it's epic, and he's such a good bad guy, too. Oh, he plays a creepy one. And he, that is his precursor for the goblin. That's the way I look at it, because he was so goblinish in that movie. Just creepy. But anyway... Yeah, great movie. Um, watch it. What else did I write down? I think that might be it. Um, if I could even see it. Yeah, that was it. There's, there's other ones. I mean, whew, but uh, movies changed my life. I mean, the weird part is right now, since this whole thing and before, <clears throat> during my dark night, I, it's hard to watch movies. I could, but another one I loved was, um, you know, Heath Ledger. I love him. And... Nice Tale. Yeah, that was an amazing movie. That was cute. That got me wanting to do Renaissance, you know, you know, stuff. Which I ended up hooking up with the Renaissance group and doing, like, Shakespeare in the Park. And, yeah, I wore a dress. But that was funny. I was like, if I'm wearing the dress and the wig, I'm going to be ridiculous. I'm going over the top, like, Kevin Klein in Midsummer's Dream. Like, you just really, yeah, yeah. I was... That's why they get like, dude, because we did a reading at somebody's house, and they're like, oh, read this part. And I was like, I'm going to be ridiculous. Like, okay, fine. So I did. I did the high voice. And they're like, oh, my God, you're, play, you're playing the part. And I was like, shit. I'm just that good. Anyway, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, have a wonderful day. Love and light. And, yeah, be strong for me, and I'll be strong for you, okay? Okay, have a wonderful day, people. Okay, bye. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of this beautifulness right here. It was raining all day yesterday, but yay. Have a wonderful day, everybody.